two-dimensional electron gas density of states. Consider a two-dimensional electron gas in which the electrons are restricted to move freely within a square area A square in the xy plane. Derive an expression for the density of states and show that it is independent of energy. Now, using periodic boundary conditions, we know that k values are 2n pi over L, where n is an integer. So, delta kx and delta ky for the two-dimensional electron gas in a square area would be 2 pi over A each. So, instead of the Fermi sphere in two dimensions, we will have a Fermi circle. So, number of electrons in the Fermi circle will be now uh, pi Fermi wave vector squared, which is the area of the circle, divided by the unit area, which is 4 pi square over uh, a square. Uh, and we have to multiply it by 2 to get the number of electrons because each state can hold a spin up and spin down. So we have spin degeneracy. And if we have number of electrons in a circle with radius k, so we're in k space, that is less than the Fermi wave vector kf, that will be uh, capital N equals the area of that circle, pi k square, divided by uh, the area a square, area of the square, divided by 4 pi square and multiplied by 2 for spin degeneracy. So this will become 2. And at the same time, we have the energy equals h bar square for the free electron k square over 2m. So what we call what we call k square is actually 2m energy divided by h bar square. Okay. Now uh, so we can write the number of electrons within this circle to be uh, for k square I substitute 2m epsilon over h bar square 2m epsilon over h bar square and then I have area divided by 2 pi uh, well, there's also a pi cancellation here this pi will get rid of this square so this will be area divided by 2 pi area divided by 2 pi <clears throat> so the twos will cancel and I will be left with uh, MA mass times the area H, uh, A square divided by pi H bar square times the energy epsilon. So what we call density of states, D of epsilon, is dn D epsilon. It's the derivative of the number of electrons with respect to energy. <clears throat> which are bound to be in this uh, circle with maximum energy E. So that would be MA over pi h bar squared. And we can see that this result is independent of the energy of the electrons, independent of epsilon. So this is the density of states. Okay, so we're considering a two-dimensional electron gas. Electrons are restricted to move freely, so free electrons, within a square area, A square. We want to know the density of states uh, and show that it's independent of energy. The unit area is 2 pi over A parentheses squared in the k space because k values are 
2 and pi over L where N is an integer given by periodic boundary conditions. The number of electrons in the Fermi circle will be the total number of electrons pi kf square divided by 1 over the area that contains one state 4 pi square over a square and for each state we have two electrons so multiplied by two this gives the total number of states uh, multiplied by two for number of electrons in a circle with radius k less than kf this kf will be replaced by k and we have energy of a free electron h bar square k square over 2m so k square is 2m epsilon over h bar square so if we substitute that for k square and uh, we see that we have ma area a squared uh, divided by pi h bar squared so a is the square area a squared uh, multiplied by epsilon so if we take a derivative with respect to epsilon this gives us ma over pi h bar squared so dn is d epsilon uh, the density of states multiplied by the epsilon. What is the meaning? It's the number of electrons with energy epsilon to epsilon plus d epsilon. So that's the number dn. So d epsilon times de gives us the number of electrons with energies in the range epsilon to epsilon plus d epsilon.